Hello, my name is Max Strauss, and with me today for an interview is Demetrius Bird, former 7th round pick by the San Diego Chargers and a 2-year star LSU wide receiver. At LSU, he had 72 receptions for 1,134 yards and 11 touchdowns. Make sure you stop by my website, prointerviews.org, and stay tuned for more interviews. Thanks again for listening. I hope you enjoy this one. So, we can start. How long have you played football? Um, my first time playing football was, um, I want to say, 15. That's my first time ever like playing contact sport. I played flag football, so my first time I played for, um, I played for some company. My second team was my leagues. You know, that was pretty exciting and a pretty good experience. And then my next, my next, my next trip was to um, play. And I didn't need to play ninth and tenth and eleventh grade because I didn't have any grades. So that's why I didn't play. But I did manage to get my grades right on to the twelfth grade year. So that's how I became eligible to play football my senior year. Did you play any other sports in high school? Did you have like a favorite memory from uh, running track? Did you have a favorite football team growing up? You go to Dolphins games? Um, no, I don't. I went to one, but to answer your question, to one of those was my first no professional game. That's when I was with the Chargers. It was when they played San Francisco 49ers in the home preseason. I went to that game, and uh, it, it was actually uh, that was my first big time one. Really, when I was on, you know, being on the sidelines, so that was my big time game now. But as far as going to a Dolphin game, I went to a Dolphin game. It was on back when I was in high school. It was, it was on back in um, 2005. It played the um, New England Patriots. So, like, what are you doing now since you're not in the NFL? Right now, I'm just doing therapy and I'm doing a little work and, you know, I'm working and doing just to keep a little money in my pocket. So, you know, I do work and, um, and, and I just do therapy, like, Monday through Thursday, so I'm always on therapy. Why do you have a Twitter? And, like, why do you connect to your fans? As a matter of fact, I'm glad you asked me that because I want to tell all my fans and everybody who loves LSU, like, you know, not only just me, like, as far as, you know, fans that, that just love LSU, to follow me. If you have a Twitter, you can go ahead and follow me. I'm probably one of the only athletes that will follow you back and will talk back to you. My message is to, 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 to uh, all my tweets, tweeters. I have a Twitter, so I can connect with my fans. 
and I show that show my fans the real me. And and I'm not I'm not out here just trying to be fake. I'm gonna give you me one hundred percent. Who's your childhood star? Hands down, Jerry Rice. Because I love the way he plays, and he's a uh, hard working man. Jerry Rice, because he's one of those guys that never give up. He was in the doing double A. Come on, man. And and then he's the greatest to ever live, to ever do it. If you could meet anyone in the entire world who you have not met before, who would it be, and why? Why'd you decide to wear number two at LSU? Okay, the reason why I decided to wear number two at LSU is because um, to put something to number one. Number one it, it is my favorite number because that's the number I wore in college. And that's the number I wore in, um, in high school, too. The reason why I didn't get number one at, at LSU because my rules are taken. But number two was empty, and number three was empty, so I didn't want to take them three, so I went to take them two. So I went to take them two. In college, how did your game improve? Uh, if you if you were to get my, my highlight of my catches my junior year, it will show you that um, how I used to run my slants. I didn't put no stick in front of my slants, but if you watch me my senior year, I run for more Chris before. When you were at LSU, what was the most important thing that you learned off the field that helped you on the field? Um, the most important thing, um, basically, is calling the class and resting, man. Because you got to rest your body. In order to perform, you got to rest. You got to. And in order to perform and to rent, you got to go to class. Who was the hardest person to get by in college? And why? It, it had to be my teammates. I'm going to say that. Because nobody else that was, that was picking me, that was on my team, would not stop me because they don't know what I'm going to do. Even my teammates don't know what I'm going to do, but I practice with them every day. So they know what kind of move I'm going to bring up. They don't know, but they have an idea. Person that I'm running is don't know nothing. Do you have a Facebook account? Well, if so, join the Facebook page at facebook.com slash pro interviews. There, you can find announcements and other important information of when new interviews come out. Just click like. And now, let's get back to the interview. So, what was your whole draft day experience like? And when were you expecting to get drafted? Well, to be honest with you, I was in a coma when I got drafted, so I really don't know none of that. Yeah, I was supposed to get drafted in a second round somewhere like that. I don't want to in the first round, you never know. But I had a great combine. But, um, but unfortunately, I was in the hospital. Out of my mind, I, I was in a coma, so I didn't even know I had got drafted. But I woke up out of a coma, and I told my mom, what am I going to do? I got to get ready for drafts. She told me, baby, you already got drafted already. I was like, whoa. When you signed with the Chargers, what was that whole experience like?
What was your favorite experience at LSU? Like the best thing that happened at LSU? The best thing that happened was when I caught that catch against the Army. I won't and the fans will never forget that. My kids, kids will be for that day. And I just, I just, um, I, I will never forget that, man. That was one of those, those moments right there, that catch. And I love that. I love that moment. So, I read somewhere that you were known as the best dancer on the LSU football team. Yeah, you know I did that. I'm not what I did. And uh, there was a segment on, 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 uh, on ESPN that they had the Michael Jackson dance before we played Auburn in 2008. And I was the first one Who was your best bud on the, um, on the Tigers? All of them came to me. Do you have like a, a good experience that yeah, that didn't have to do with football? And good experience was when it was um uh, waking up to see my family in the hospital and and that showing that okay we can care so it's see right now. Do you have a nickname? What's the best thing that ever happened to you? What's an experience that you've had that changed your life for better or worse? For someone who wants to play football in the NFL, what's the best advice you can give? The best advice I can give, and this comes from the future third, is never give up. No matter what someone tells you, never give up. I work, 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 work hard. Never give up. That's all I can tell you. And, and that's a big quote. I don't know if, if it's somebody else's quote, but... This program is just work, work, work. Never give up. Because uh, also they, um, the strong only survive and the weak shall fall by the wayside. Meaning, you're strong enough, you will make it to whatever you want to do. You may need to be whatever you need. But if, if you're weak, you might as well just Christmas. Because you won't make it nowhere. Is there anything you want to tell your fans that we haven't discussed? Yeah, I'd like to tell them um, our fans just to stay stay um, tuned in with me, man. Just, just keep praying for me. People that praying for me, just, just keep the um, prayer open for me. And, um, and also, um, if you're a fan of me or a fan of um, LSU, you can um you can become a fan on uh, Facebook. I have a fan page and and I have a cool highlight video of me on there and, and you can become a friend, a fan. And also you can follow me on Twitter and I will follow back and I will talk to you if you talk to me. And handle you know that. That's all I wanna say. And thank you for 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 you if y'all do this to this. Thanks for taking time to my Thanks for doing the interview. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem, man. Mm-hmm. My pleasure, man. Thank you for listening to the interview with Demetrius Bird. In addition to the audio interview, there are personal questions he answered below. Do you have anything in common with him personally? Scroll down below. You can read his answer.